Hey everyone, welcome back to the Typing Mind channel. Today, I'm super excited to guide you on how to use open source models on Typing Mind via Llama. For those who may not know, a Llama is a tool that allows you to run open source large language models locally on your machine. It supports a variety of models, including Llama 3, Fi3, Mistral, Gemma. I recently tested Gemma via Llama with some simple linear equations, and the math capabilities really impressed me. Interested? Let's dive in. First, head over to alama.com. You'll be prompted to download the version suitable for your device. I'm using macOS, so I'll go ahead and download that. Once your download completes, let's open the Alama app. Install the Olama command line to your device. Here is the command to start running the model on your device. But before that, there are a couple of commands we need to execute to help Typing Mind communicate with Alama's server. Open your terminal app. Run these commands. After those are set, enter the command provided by Olama. Replace Llama 3 with Gemma or whichever model you prefer to use. In this case, I choose Gemma. It might take a few minutes to download the model depending on your connection and device. Just hang tight. When you see the success message, that means the model is ready on your device. Make sure to restart the Alama app for the changes to take effect. Now let's integrate it with Typing Mind. Navigate to typingmind.com. Click on Manage Model and then click on Add Custom Model. You'll need to fill out some fields such as the name and logo URL. For the endpoint, input what I'm typing right now. Enter Gemma in the model ID field or the model ID that you downloaded and set the context length to 81 and 92 tokens. Hit the test button to make sure everything's working. Awesome, you've successfully added Gemma to Typing Mind. You can start chatting with the model. Let's ask some basic math questions. I can say, the speed might be a bit slow since it's running locally, but the accuracy is there. And that wraps up our tutorial. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more AI tutorials and make sure to turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.